Flex Floor Loose Lay Planks easily install over most existing hard floors with minimal or no adhesives. Their registered embossment and variations provide a genuine hardwood floor appearance. In this demonstration video, I will show you how easy Flex Floor Loose Lay Planks can be installed. Proper subfloor preparation is essential to obtain the best results with your new Flex Floor Loose Lay Planks. Prior to beginning your project, be sure to review all manufacturer's instructions. For the best results, lay out as many full planks as possible to help determine the direction and the amount of leftover space. Once the direction has been decided, measure the amount of leftover space. If there is less than four inches of leftover space, you may want the partial row along a less conspicuous wall. If your leftover space is greater than four inches, the space should be divided in half, providing equal amounts for the first and last rows of planks. This technique creates a centered appearance to your floor. Since walls might be uneven or not perfectly square, it is recommended to place a chalk line on your existing floor as a guide for your first row of planks. Lay as many full planks along your chalk guide line to fill a complete row. To cut the partial length plank, you will need a straight edge and a utility knife. Always utilize proper safety precautions, like eye protection, prior to beginning. Using the utility knife, score through the face of the plank. Next, bend the plank at the scored line and then make a clean cut through the rubber backing of the plank. Always abut factory edges together and cut edges towards the walls. To mark and cut the partial width planks, place a full plank on top of your first guide row, plank A. Make sure it is perfectly aligned and the guide row has not shifted away from the chalk line. Place another plank flush to the wall and on top of plank A. Mark the entire length of plank A. Move plank A to the subfloor. Using a straight edge and utility knife, score along the pencil mark, bend at the scored line, and make a clean cut through the backing of the plank. Continue this process for the rest of your first row of partial width planks. Make sure all cut edges are towards the walls and factory edges are together. All planks should be compact towards each other and the walls, but should not buckle. For a traditional wood floor appearance, additional rows should have staggered end joints from the previous rows. Periodically, during the installation, check to make sure all joints are snug and there are no gaps or buckles between any of the planks. When fitting planks around door jams or irregular objects, it is important to make a template with paper or poster board. Trace the template onto the flooring and carefully cut with a utility knife. When installing planks in doorways or transitioning to other types of flooring, it is recommended to use an adhesive. Please refer to the manufacturer's instructions for different types of adhesive applications and when to use them. Durable, scratch, and stain resistant easy to clean and very easy to install. Flex Floor Loose Lay Planks are a beautiful and effortless flooring option, perfect for any room.